वेलकाम टू एन पी टी एल अनलाइन कोर्स ऑन मेसिन लार्णिंग एंड डीप लार्णिंग फांडामेन्टेल्स एंड एप्लिकेशनस आई एम डर एम के भूं प्रफेसर अब द डिपार्टमेंट अफ इलेक्ट्रनिक्स एंड इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजिनियरिंग आई आई टी गुवाहाटी दिस इज ए कोर्स अन मेसिन लार्णिंग एंड डीप लार्णिंग सो आई उल डिसकाशिंग सम फांडामेन्टेल कन्सेप्ट अब मेसिन लार्णिंग एंड डीप लार्णिंग एंड अल्सो सम एप्लिकेशनस द अबजेक्टिव अब दिस कोर्स इज टू एकुंट स्टूडेंट उथ द ब्रड एरियज अब मेसिन लार्णिंग एंड डीप लार्णिंग Machine learning is an exciting research area. The goal is to design machines that can learn from the examples. In this course, I will focus on theory, principles, and some algorithms of machine learning and deep learning. And in case of the machine learning, mainly I will consider the statistical machine learnings, and also the soft computing based machine learning techniques. Also, understanding of mathematical concepts is quite important to understand the concept of machine learning and deep learning let me briefly explain the course outline the course on machine learning and deep learning so here you can see i have shown uh, the what is artificial intelligence what is machine learning and what is deep learning artificial intelligence is nothing but the programs with the ability to learn and reason like human so this is one definition of artificial intelligence machine learning is a subset of artificial intelligence algorithms with the ability to learn without being explicitly program so that is the definition of machine learning in this course mainly i will focus the concept of statistical machine learning and also the soft computing based machine learning techniques in the soft computing based machine learning techniques i will be discussing uh, the artificial neural networks and also the fuzzy logic and here you can see the deep learning is a subset of machine learning in which artificial neural networks adapt and learn from huge amount of training data so that means it is the advanced version of artificial neural networks next you can see i am showing the distinction between the traditional programming and the machine learning in case of the traditional programming input to the computer is data and the program and corresponding to this i am getting the outputs so based on my programs and based on my data i will be getting the output but in case of the machine learning i know what is the output so input to the system is data and the output and from this i have to generate the program so i have to write the program or i have to develop the algorithm so you can see the fundamental distinction between traditional programming and the machine learning and the types of learning uh, in case of the machine learning or deep learning so one is the supervised learning in this case we have training data and also we know what is the desired outputs in case of the unsupervised learning we have training data but we do not know what are the desired outputs in case of the semi supervised learning we have training data and a few desired outputs so generally uh, semi supervised learning techniques are used in medical image analysis because it is very difficult to get the uh, label data so this technique is used Uh, in some of the applications of medical image analysis and finally reinforcement learning that is the rewards from sequence of action that means the goal is more important rather than a single action so that means the group of actions are more important rather than a single action corresponding to a good action a reward will be given and this is the fundamental definition of the reinforcement learning so uh, in case of the machine learning or in case of the deep learning we have to build a machine that can recognize patterns and some of the examples like this uh, the speech recognition the speech is a pattern the speech signal is a pattern in case of the biometrics fingerprint identification face recognition and some other applications like optical character recognition dna sequence identifications biomedical image analysis biomedical signal analysis digit recognition molecular classifications so there are many applications so now uh, move to the next slide so some of the applications like web search computational biology finance e commerce space explorations robotics information extraction social networks debugging software there are many other applications so this application i can show like this uh, you can see in this case i am showing the applications of machine learning and deep learning so one is the finance one is gaming astronomy healthcare transport agriculture education e-commerce entertainment 
robotics, automotive, social media, uh, data security. So, there are many applications of machine learning and deep learning. So, overview of this course. So, uh, let me introduce this course. So, prerequisites, strong motivation, basic coordinate geometry, matrix algebra, linear algebra and probability and random process. And for programming, uh, you may consider OpenCV Python that is a very popular uh, programming environment or also in many cases you can consider MATLAB. So, background uh, already I told you uh, mainly you have to know about the linear algebra and the probability mainly the concept of vectors, dot products, eigenvectors and eigenvalues and you can see appendix of different textbooks for all these mathematical concepts particularly the linear algebra and the probability, the concepts like mean, variance, normal distributions. So, all this you can get in the books. In this course, you can see I will be discussing some fundamental concepts of machine learning and the deep learning like the Bayesian classification, the concept of univariate and multivariate normal densities, linear regression, maximum likelihood estimation, naive based classification perceptron and basic single layer neural networks, linear discrimination and gradient descent optimization, logistic regression, support vector machine, uh, regularized risk minimization, decision trees, random forest and the concept of ensemble classification like begging and the boosting, feature selection and one important concept is dimensionality reduction by considering PCA and the linear discriminant analysis, clustering and also the another important concept is hidden Markov models and the deep learning. So, this is the outline of the course. So, our focus will be on applying machine learning to real applications. So, week wise uh, distribution of this course will be like this. So, in the first week I will be discussing the introduction of machine learning, performance measures and the linear regression. So, I may take three classes for uh, this week. Next one is uh, in the second week, I will be discussing the concept of Bayesian decision theory, normal density and the discriminate functions, Bayesian decision theory, binary features and one important concept is the belief network. So, I may take 5 classes for this week. In the third week, I will be discussing two important concepts, one is the parametric and the non-parametric density estimation and mainly I will be considering the maximum likelihood estimation and the Bayesian estimation for the parametric estimation and for the non-parametric estimation I will be discussing the concept of the Persian window and the K nearest neighbor technique. So, I may take 4 classes for this week. In the week number 4, I will be discussing the concept of perceptron criteria, logistic regression and also I will be discussing discriminative models and one discriminative model is the support vector machine. So, that concept I will be discussing in the week number 4. After this in the week number 5, uh, two important concepts, one is the decision trees, another one is the concept of the hidden Markov model. Hidden Markov model is a graphical model which is used to predict a set of variables from a set of observed variables. And week number 6, uh, I will be considering the concept of the ensemble methods. So, the concepts like boosting and begging and one important concept is the random forest. In week number 7, I will be discussing one important concept that is the concept of dimensionality problem. So, to reduce the dimension of a feature vector, I will be discussing the concept of PCA, the principal component analysis and the linear discriminant analysis. In week number 8, another concept uh, that is the concept of mixer model, uh, I will be discussing and for this I will be discussing the concept of Gaussian mixer model and for estimating the parameters I will be discussing the concept of expectation maximization algorithm. So, for this week I may take 2 classes. In, in the week number 9 I will be discussing unsupervised uh, techniques like the clustering, k-means clustering, like mean shift clustering. So, all these clustering techniques I will be discussing in week number 9. In week number 10, I will be discussing uh, the fundamental concepts of neural network, artificial neural network, perceptron, multilayer neural networks, the concept of the back propagation, RBF neural networks and some applications of the neural networks. 
and in this case I will be discussing both supervised and the unsupervised neural networks. In the week number 11 I will be introducing the uh, fundamental concept of deep neural networks and mainly I will be discussing the concept of convolution uh, neural networks, LXNet, VGGNet and the Google Net. And finally, in the week number 12, I will be discussing recent trends in deep learning architectures, the concept of transfer learning, residual networks, the concept of autoencoders and its relation to the PCA, the principal component analysis and there are many other applications uh, of the deep neural networks. So, all these uh, things I will be discussing in the week number 12. So, this is the week wise distribution of the course. Regarding the books, the first book you can consider that is the Alpidin Introduction to Machine Learning. So, that book also you can see and most of the topics I will be following from the book by Dudai and Hart, the second book. So, this is the book name is Pattern Classification and this is a very important book. And another book is by Bishop, Pattern Recognition and Machine Learning. That book also you can see for uh, some of the concepts. So, another book, my book is MK Bhuya. The name of the book is Computer Vision and Image Processing Fundamentals and Applications published by CRC Press. So, for some of the important concepts, I will be following this book. And for the deep learning, you can follow the book by Goodfellow. So, this is about the books. In the course website also, you can see the name of these books. So, here you can see I am dividing the entire course into three parts. The first part is the supervised machine learning techniques. The second part is unsupervised machine learning techniques. And finally, in the third part, I am considering artificial neural networks and the deep learning architectures. In case of the supervised learning techniques, first I will introduce the concept of regression, linear regression. After this, the Bayesian decision theory. And in this case, I will be discussing some estimation techniques, the parameter estimation technique uh, like maximum likelihood estimation and the Bayesian estimation. And also, I will be discussing non-parametric techniques. For this, I will be discussing two important concepts, the Parsian window technique and the k nearest neighbor techniques. This is about the generative models. In case of the discriminative models, I will be discussing one important algorithm that is the support vector machine. And some of the other topics like decision trees, hidden Markov model. So, all these concepts I will be discussing here. Also, I will be discussing some ensemble based learnings like the concept of begging, boosting and concept of the Adabus classifier and also the concept of the random forest. In part number 2, I will be discussing unsupervised machine learning techniques. Mainly, I will be considering uh, the concept of the k-means clustering, fuzzy c-means clustering, uh, the mean shift clustering. So, all these clustering techniques I will be discussing in part number 2. And finally, in the part number 3, I will be discussing the concept of the supervised and the unsupervised artificial neural networks and also the concept of deep architectures. So, this is the course outline of this course on machine learning and deep learning fundamentals and applications. And one important point is the understanding of the mathematical concepts like the understanding of the linear algebra and the probability and the random process. So, I hope you will enjoy this course. Thank you.